video, I will be showing you how you can find the shortest route between two locations, and I will be showing you how you can find the result using the Python module Networks. Let's imagine that you own a factory. A store from a long distance wants to order many products from your factory. You want to take the shortest route from your factory to the store to minimize the cost of transportation. And to do that, you want to find the shortest route. Here you can see we have many different routes we can take. How will we find the shortest one? To find that, we look at the we look at many small chunks here. We want to find the shortest distance from one to three. Here we have from taking this route will give us five hundred and ten kilometers. Taking this route will give us three hundred and twenty plus one hundred and seventy six kilometers. Three hundred and twenty plus one hundred and seventy six. Equals to four hundred and ninety-six. So taking the route, the route from one to two to three will be shorter than taking it directly from one to three. So you can see here, we can remove this line here, and we'll keep on removing unnecessary lines until we get the final route. As you can see, this will take a long time. And this is just an example. In real life, there will be hundreds of routes, and it will be very dis difficult to find the shortest one. We can use Python to get to easily get the result. So here, I take a random take a random point and find the shortest route from this point to this point. This plus this equals to nine hundred and sixty three. That is obviously greater than two hundred ninety, so we can remove these two lines. Now have a look at the shortest route from four to seven. First, we add up these numbers. We get five hundred and forty-nine, and that is greater than four hundred and eighteen. So we can cross these lines out. Now, the shortest route from four to for from four to ten. Is here we add these two together, we get nine hundred and eight. I mean, we get four hundred and sixty-eight. We add this and this, we get nine hundred and eight. So we cross out these two. I mean, we cross out these two. Finally, we find this whether this root or this root is shorter. We add up the numbers, we get that this root is shorter. So we remove these lines. So we get the answer. We should take the root one, four, seven, ten, and the total distance will be one thousand three hundred and sixty-eight kilometers. Now let's have a look at our Python program. First, let me run this. Here you can see they give us what we have in our picture here, and on the on the Python we get one four seven nine. So let's have a look. One four seven. I mean one four seven ten. And over here we have one four seven ten. Now these coordinates. Aren't necessary, but if we want our Python program to print out this nice picture the way we want it, we will have to import the coordinates. So first, from networks, I mean I import networks as nx. You may not have the networks module right now. You can install it now. From I import math. Plotlib.pyplot as plt. Now I define my my variable g. It equals to networks.graph. Here 
I want to add a node to my graph. The, the node will be named one, and the position here you we have the coordinates of our node. This is zero six. I mean, and now we add another node two, and we here we keep on adding nodes, and we set the positions. Now we want to add an edge, so the edge will give us. Here you have this line here, and we set the weight. The weight will be our distance. So from one to four, it's nine hundred kilometers. From four to eight, you can see I have three hundred nineteen, and I input. We have one to four. We have four to eight, eight to nine, four to seven. So we we input all of our all of our edges. Now let's go down here. I define a variable pos, which stands for position. It equals to networks dot get node attribute. I want to get it from our g variable, and I want to get the attribute pos, which is the position. So here we have our positions. Labels equals to networks dot get edge attributes. Here I pass in our variable, and we want to get the weight. So here's our weight. Now let's see. We have get edge attribute because the attribute comes from the edge of our nodes here. Networks dot draw networks dot underline edge underline labels. Here we pass in our we pass in our variable g. We pass in the positional argument position, and here we have edge labels equals labels. Labels we define here. Here we got all the labels, all the edge labels from g. Network dot draw. Here I have g again. Here I have my position. This passing in this pos will give will let them graph our picture here accordingly, and with labels equals true. So we want this will let them put in these numbers here. If we don't pass in with labels equals true, they will simply give us these circles. Here. Now I want to print the shortest path. Here I have g again. The source is one, and our target is ten. Now we call plt dot show to give us that graph. We can also say our source is three, and our target is ten. Let's see what they will give us this time. Now three six ten, and let me just put back the labels. Here you can see the shortest route from three to ten is. Three six ten. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment sections below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called Nets Edu. Today is Feb February thirteenth, two thousand twenty. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and check out my other videos. They might be helpful to you. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.